Sometimes Mother Nature smiles upon us, and today in Durham, North Carolina, she's grinning ear to ear. What a gorgeous spring day for one of the great rivalries in college lacrosse. The Duke Blue Devils and the reigning Tawaraton winner, Brennan O'Neill, taking on the Virginia Cavaliers for the 89th time. Boyden transferred from D3, Tufts last year. Shot, Virginia on the board first, Griffin shuts. He's fired up. Dyson behind the cage. That's Zawada up top. Inside, Dyson Williams scores. That's Ben Johnson, 19. One of the top recruits in the country as a freshman this year. Goes back to his left, shoots and scores! And Ben Johnson is an absolute force. He is a right-handed player. This is a freshman who's six foot three, 220 pounds, can go right and left. And to hammer this with your offhand in the shot location. Here's Millen again on the shorty, looking to make something happen. Pass inside, shoot, score! Peyton Cormier. Peyton Cormier leads the nation in goals per game. Well, let's see if they could use some of that momentum here with Zawada. Question mark. There it is. In no hurry here, knowing they've got the penalty that's going to go their way as soon as we get a stoppage. O'Neal scores. That's too unfair right there from that spot. You've got some house money. Millen on Gray, the shorty. Nice swim move to get free. Shot doesn't get through traffic, though. That time, though, picked up by McIntosh, wow. and he scores. They'd love to get number 18 in blue going, wouldn't they? As they so, that may be it to Q's point. He did not look good on his last draw as he hurt his ankle earlier. There's another shot from O'Neal. Crowd on their feet here at Koskinen. Here comes McGuire. Nice passing. Caputo finishes. McAdory did a nice job, still doing a nice job to keep it away from Jaeger. Now advantage Duke. O'Neal scores! Right there, Virginia was not prepared to defend him. They have been in a serious drought offensively, so trying to break that here, and an opportunity. Couldn't get it to go, no angle shooting, but they get it back and score. That time it's Colsey who finishes. Virginia will take a junk goal just to get back on the board. They'll settle in to defend 6v6. 23 and 20. Jaeger and Erdman are gonna be clocking mad hours. Sawada. His second on the day. Changed the matchup. Effective. Now you got Advantage Virginia. Yep. Let's see what Schellenberger can do. Look at all the help, the attention he draws, and it Boom. ends up being a goal as 14 Will Corey finishes. Hell of a catch by Corey as that pass was up the ladder. Here's Balsamo on Jaeger. Virginia shows and then goes. Balsamo, good to get rid of it to Zolana, though, and he finishes. You know that you can handle pressure, and the spots will open up. Thomas Colucci took that draw for Virginia. And you had McGuire lose his stick, couldn't play with it. Now Schellenberger with the top corner. He's trying to get his teammates fired up now. Makes it a three-goal deficit once again. Schellenberger inside, finds Cormier. Two in a row for Virginia. You think you're covering him, but he's a beast inside. 
Behind O'Neal. Gets a step on his defender and scores! My word! This is what scares you when a lefty plays a beast of a lefty. They're all blue chip recruits, right? Everyone would love to have their fourth and fifth and sixth guy. Right, they have Boyer back today, too. That's been big for him. Here's McAdory. Got free, shoot, scores! He needs about that much room, Carr, just a little sliver. Back at full strength. Sloat, good catch. Oh, Williams with the finish! The catch was even as nice as the finish, maybe even better. Had a 40-plus goal season for Princeton. It's a wide, oh! Look at the English on that bounce shot, beating Morris. I see something every week in that league that makes me go, wow, I've never seen that before. It's so physical, too, it's just... Shots on the run, okay, that's one back. Shuts will be a pro someday. Oh, just no not Just not yet. He's only a junior. One of the players mentioned about that rivalry, one of the Navy players, at the first, like, minute or two, it's not even lacrosse. Like, it's just, it's mayhem. Boyan does what he did so often last year at Tufts. Finds a way to find the back of the net. His 15th. Tell you one thing about Schellenberger, he makes the right play every time. Here comes he? some contact with two dudes. Cormier shoots, scores! That's a huge goal for Virginia. Duke leads by three. That's what the halftime deficit was. So once again, Virginia continues to take those haymakers from Duke, and they're just hanging in there as we head toward the fourth. To your point, it will happen with maturity. Virginia Weyer come out, comes out of there with possession on the faceoff. Dangerous in front there. Williams steals it and scores. That's crushing. Because you're down to Renzi already. Papendick way outside. Oh, the hammer from Zawada. I think when he graduated, he was an all-time points leader. Yes, well, Michael Bame has broken Led that record Led them to the since. quarterfinals. First NCAA win in a Big Ten championship. Nay, so look at this. Is he going to shoot it? He is. It scores! That ankle's feeling a lot better now. I think of a face-off guy as being frustrated and coming over and sla slamming the violin. Being a drummer, being yeah. a drummer, yeah, maybe. Yeah, drummer. No, when he it's, said, I played an true. instrument, I said, oh, this guy played the drums. Yeah. McAdory. Now Duke's feeling it. A guy who is built like the Incredible Hulk, and he's <laughs> sweating through his shirts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's smell me, smell smell me later. later. And now, Weyer trying to change matters, and he gets one back. So that fires up the Virginia sideline a bit. Again, we still got 11 and a half minutes left to go in this game, so it is not over by a long shot. And those clad in orange here at Koskinen, they know it. I watched Ben Ware warming up a couple weeks ago at practice, shooting the rock, man. He slings it. Kalucci to Schellenberger. Millen scores! Okay, two quick ones for the Wahoos. Make it, take it, buy one, get one free. His mom, Erin, was a Hall of Famer at Maryland. She's probably like, maybe get a haircut every, sometime, son. Look at this, off the face-off again! It's back and forth off the draw, and that's two for Naso. See his hands? Showing all of his teammates, that's two. Virginia couldn't escape Koskinen with a win. Once again, it was Duke continuing their regular season dominance over the Wahoos. Congratulations all around from Coach Dino and his boys. They came to play from the start. A show from O'Neal and Zawada.